Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to create a drawing of an elf factory. I am so excited for this project. You can support me and my art by subscribing to this channel, Rainbow Parrot Art, and by hitting the like button on this video. Before we get started, I want to mention that the name of this channel is Rainbow Parrot Art. And I have so many super fun art tutorials and art lessons on this channel, so be sure to stick around and check them out. Okay, it's time to draw an elf factory. You don't have to do this first part, but I thought it would be helpful to show you that whenever I create a drawing like this, I first draw a tiny thumbnail sketch of it. This helps me to decide what elements I want to include in my picture and decide what the general layout will look like. Now I'm going to walk you through it step by step. I'm going to start by drawing a rectangular window in the upper right corner. I'm sketching an oval here where I'm eventually going to draw an elf. I know the pencil marks are really light right now, but hang on because you'll be able to see them better in just a minute. I'm drawing a square shape here. This will be the present machine that sits on top of the conveyor belt. I'm going to have two conveyor belts in my drawing. I'm lightly penciling in a long, narrow oval for each conveyor belt. I like to use light pencil marks just at first when I create the layout of my drawing because that way if I make a mistake, it's easy to erase. Here, I'm drawing a square that's going to be another machine. Just above this machine, I'm sketching in a rough outline of an elf that's going to be standing on a ladder and pulling some kind of lever that will drop presents from the ceiling. This circle is going to become a wreath, and this is a trap door from where the presents fall. Now I'm adding a couple floating shelves where presents will sit. Beneath the floating shelves, I'm adding some hanging Christmas stockings. In the bottom right hand corner, I'm adding a Christmas tree and drawing a stick figure with a big round belly. This is going to be Santa Claus. Now that I have lightly penciled in what I call the skeleton of my drawing, I'm ready to start using darker pencil marks to fill in the details. I'm going to start with the conveyor belts. I'm adding a second line inside each of the ovals. I'm drawing the two rectangles that will become the machines that send the presents through the conveyor belts. I'm redrawing those two floating shelves that will have presents on them. And I'm redrawing the window in the upper right hand corner. Watch here to see the simple shapes I use to draw Santa Claus. Feel free to pause here or rewind if you are following along. For the Christmas tree, I'm drawing row after row of zigzags starting at the top and working my way down. Right at the level where Santa's boots are, I'm drawing a straight line across the bottom of my drawing. This will be the factory floor. Now I'm drawing some presents sitting under the Christmas tree. Right here, I'm adding the basic shapes that will become an elf sitting on a swing. Now I'm drawing the basic shape for the elf that's going to be standing on a ladder. I'm adding some kind of circle design inside the conveyor belt. These circles could be the spokes that rotate and cause the conveyor belt to turn. I'm drawing my Christmas wreath. It looks like a giant donut with a bow on top. I'm making a jagged zigzag line around the edge of the wreath so it looks like rough evergreen branches. And I'm adding some circles inside the wreath that will become red holly berries. Now I'm creating a window pane by outlining around the edge of the window. I'm adding more intersecting window panes at the top of the window so it looks a bit more like a window. I'm drawing a curtain rod above the window and drawing a curtain on both sides of the window. Now for the best part, there are going to be a couple of curious reindeer peeking in through the window. I'm using simple shapes to draw these reindeer so that they will be easy for you to copy. Feel free to pause or rewind the video here if that's helpful. 
I'm going to fill in the details for my elf on the swing. Notice that he's talking through a loudspeaker. He's got skinny legs and long pointy feet. This swing is hanging on a metal chain. I'm going to show you how to draw a metal chain in just a minute. I'm adding a cute elf hat and big pointy elf ears to my other elf. Okay, now for the metal chain. Start by drawing skinny ovals stacked like this. With, they have a little bit of space between each oval. Now go back and connect each of these ovals with a circle. Now I'm drawing the trap door on the ceiling and as you can see, there's a present falling out of it. I'm adding a bunch of presents on top of the floating shelves. I'm drawing some hanging stockings under the shelf, but my head's in the way. <laughs> there, now you can see. I'm adding a few Christmas ornaments hanging from the shelves. Now I'm drawing where the belt of the conveyor belt connects to the two machines. I'm adding a bunch of Christmas presents on top of the conveyor belt. I like to add a variety of bows and ribbons to my presents. I like it when each present is a little bit different in size and shape. It just makes for a nice variety. Now I'm going to finish adding the details to this elf and draw a ladder underneath him. It's time to add some levers, knobs, and buttons to the machine that processes the presents onto the conveyor belt. You can really have fun and use your imagination when you do this. This is the opening where the presents come out. I'm adding similar details to the other machine. All right, yay, I'm done drawing, but stick around for a minute so I can give you a few tips on how you might color in your picture. I recommend using a super light color for the background. I don't like to use a dark color for the background because it makes it harder to see the objects in your picture. I'm using a marker for this, but you might find you prefer to use colored pencils. It's really up to you. I'm using a reddish brown color on the conveyor belts. I'm using a navy blue in the window, so it looks like you're looking out at a night sky. See how I'm also leaving some white circles so that it looks like it's snowing? I feel like the stuff I'm doing now is pretty straightforward, so I'm gonna go kind of fast here. Oh yeah, I decided to add a mistletoe in the upper left-hand corner. Can you think of any other holiday decorations that you may like to add to your elf factory? I'm using a few different shades of brown to color in my reindeer. I'm coloring in my presents using many different colors. I like the way that looks. When I'm done coloring, I like to grab an ultrafine Sharpie and outline parts of my picture to make them pop. You can also use a black colored pencil for this. Oh yeah, you can also see that I added some holly at the bottom of my picture here. I love how that looks. Don't forget to add some decorations or lights to your Christmas tree. I hope you love how your drawing turns out. I can't wait to see it. If you enjoyed today's project, you're going to love my gingerbread house drawing tutorial and my North Pole map drawing tutorial. So be sure to check them out.